Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of balancing a budget. This is part of personal financial literacy and is standard 5.10F in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 31 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Amelia is making a list of her monthly expenses right here. And we've got food, we've got rent, we've got savings, and we've got this mystery amount, this other. So Amelia's net income is 2135 How much money does she have for other expenses? Well, we want to keep a balanced budget so let's just draw this little image here of an actual balance and you probably remember playing with this in science class you would put things in the cups or the plates or the whatever you have on either side and you would just see which side is heavier well we want a balanced or an equal budget between these two things we've got our income and easy way to remember that is that in right this is money in and then we have our expenses. So this is what we're spending our money on. And we would like those to be even, if possible. If they're going to be uneven, it's okay for your income to be uh, greater than your expenses. What you just don't want is the opposite side to where your income is less than your expenses. Because now we're borrowing money or we're using credit cards to make all that happen. So we have a net income of... $2,135. So this is net income. And remember, uh, we've got two different types of income. We've got the net income, and then we've got the gross income. And this is our net income, which is what we're actually needing. So our net income is after taxes. This is actual money that you get. So she walks away from her job with $2,135. $35. The gross is going to be before taxes. And so that's going to be what you make if you just calculate your hours worked times your salary per hour. But they're going to take out Social Security, federal income tax, and Medicare, maybe insurance. So net income is good because that's just actually how much cash you walk away with. So she's got that much money to spend and she's got her budget except for this other category and so let's let's see what some of our options are here we want to see how much she has for other expenses well i mean we can actually just get rid of this look at this a rate right here three thousand five hundred thirty five how could she have other expenses that is greater than her actual net income of 2135 that doesn't make any sense so we can just eliminate that right off the bat because that's kind of silly so she can't have an other expenses that's greater than her net she's not going to get any more money so what we need to figure out is first how much money is she even spending so far so let's check that 400 850 150 so between her food, her rent, her savings, how much is she actually even using right now, spending right now? That's 10, and that's going to be 5, 13, 14. Okay, so if you put all of this together, you've got 1,400. So right now it's an imbalanced income, or imbalanced budget, because her income is greater than her expenses. So she wants to add this other category... And she wants to get it to be equal. So what we can do is we can take a look at a simple subtraction problem. We need to see well, how far away is 1,400 from 2,135. Let's just subtract the two numbers. And that will tell us how far away these two, these two numbers are. We can put that in our other categories. So that's 5. That's 3. Going to have to regroup a little bit there. That's 11. So $735, and that can go in her other category. The answer is D.